Hi guys. Um, I just wanted to update. I don't really know what I was going to do in this one, so I thought I would ask you guys a question. So who's ever viewing this, please comment and answer this question. Okay, so since school is starting soon, for some people, most people too, I would like to know that whoever is in school or whoever had school, I would like you to answer what are some of your annoying parts about school, what are the things that annoy you about school, and for the others, for the other times that you've had school, what are the good things? Because I'm starting high school again for like 10th grade. Um, one thing I don't like that my teacher last year, I'm hoping I don't have him again because he lost my work like 14 times by now and he would not stop losing it. And teachers don't do that at all. Teachers should not do that. So that was my peeve about school more than anything. And the good thing is, I like some of the teachers that I have, so like my art teacher, I really know, I know her for um, my sister and my brother, and I really like her because she's really nice to me and everything, and I like having art class because it's fun, and I'm not good at anything else other than artsy stuff, I guess, you could say. Mm. Anyway, so... That would be one teacher, and then I even go visit my older teacher from when I was in 8th grade in middle school. Her name, I cannot say because it's just, no. Um, so anyway, uh, I really enjoy going to see her because she puts me into her classes a lot, so I kind of wanted to get her something. Apologizing for that, especially because I'm probably going to do it this year again. So I thought I would go to her room on um, first day of school and see if she's there because I got her a little necklace that has like dolphins. Little dolphins. It's a chain linkish type necklace that you can adjust. So I thought that would be a good present for her, since she could wear it all day, or every day, or most days, or something. Yeah. I got it over at the shore because I went to the shore. I did not record there when I should have probably done that, but it's more because I kind of got sunburned the second day. All over my legs and my arms, and I looked like a I looked like a walking tomato stick. My face was a little bit red too, and my chest. I don't I don't do good at beaches. I'm pale. I'm tan now because I got sunburn. I get tan after I get really bad sunburn or any sunburn for that matter. So yeah, I'm gonna move this because my hand is hurting. <sighs> Okay, that's better. Um, so, yeah. That is kind of what happened. So, yeah. And then the other teacher, the last teacher that I really liked was, um, my math teacher. Even though I'm not entirely good at math because I kind of suck. Actually, there's another teacher after this one, but, um, anyway. So, I'm not good at math, but... Because I had him early in the morning, and I'm not a morning person. Don't bother me in the morning. It does not help. It does not help you at all. I would pretty much smack you upside the head if you bothered me too much in the morning. I got anger issues sometimes. Anyway. Um. Yeah, my math teacher, because he's very sarcastic, I guess you could say. And he likes to joke around a lot, so it's kind of fun. 
for having him in the morning, and I'm hoping I do have him in the morning, or else I won't be able to go to school, because it's just gonna be so weird, and annoying. Yep. So, and he used to make fun of one kid in my class. He, the kid said, or something that I, my eye hurts. So, Mr. Walton. Oh, shoot. Okay, anyway. Um, so the teacher would always go, there's, so there's something in my eye, my eye hurts! All the time during class, or he would say, what was it again? Oh, the kid, after he was done uh, solving a thing, like a question or something, he would write it down and go, it's six times six equals whatever six times six equals. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Yeah, I'm dumb. Well, six times six and then whatever it equals, you go whack. So, my teacher goes, every second he's done saying something, he's like, okay, this is the square root of seven and the square root of seven is 49. Watch. Eh. How do I put that? Alright, well, anyway, he just says whap at the end of everything, and I'm wondering if he does that again this year, or if it's something different this year. So. And then the last teacher was my Spanish teacher, which was very nice. She was very nice. Um. The only weird thing was that because I liked. I like weird songs, and most of them are like. Really weird, um, like, Linkin Park Band, which I love, my favorite, um, my favorite band is Linkin Park, and the one song that I listened to when I was little was, like, when I was, like, two, two possibly younger, I don't remember, anyway, two possibly younger, I listened to this one song by Linkin Park, which was One Step Closer, and it is awesome. If you like Linkin Park, you need to like this song. And then, another thing that I listened to was a bunch of rap music, so like MGK. And I'm, I'm probably thinking, who the heck is MGK? Well, MGK is a rapper, and it stands for Machine Gun Kelly. And yeah, you can just look him up on YouTube or something and they'll show you the videos. Um, my favorite would probably have to be, well, there's two of them that are my favorites, um, the first Wild Boy, and Invincible, so, if you're, if you know who MGK is, or you don't know who he is, you should go check it out, you might like it, who knows. Um, so, yeah, she used to call me an angry person, she's like, you're so angry, you're so angry, so, yeah, even some of the stuff that I made in art class or I drew, she would think that it was angry. Yep. And if you didn't notice, there's a Charmander and a Pikachu and a dog back there. Yep. So I'm going to put this out with a Pikachu and Charmander. Bye-bye.